Along with critical infrastructure like energy and transportation, we believe the food supply chain is the backbone of our modern way of life. Most of this essential work happens unseen. So what happens behind the scenes to get your food from farm to fork? Well, grab a seat, imagine your favorite meal, and feast on this appetizer of what we do in an industry known as temperature-controlled warehousing. From the moment food is picked, harvested, caught, or produced, it's a race against time and temperature to get it to your plate before it loses its battle with science. But when food is quickly cooled or flash frozen, it can be preserved as close to peak quality as possible, extending its shelf life and retaining nutrients and flavor. The problem is that many food producers have great capacity to produce food, but not the matching capacity to store it, process it, or get it to you. That's where we come in, companies in the world's cold supply chain. And the key link in that cold chain, the epicenter that makes the world's food supply system possible, is the temperature-controlled warehouse. The main function of the warehouse is to receive and store food, lots of it, that then creates a robust inventory of products weeks and months in advance of regional and seasonal customer demand. Like they say in real estate, location is king. And in the cold supply chain, keeping the world fed starts with warehouses in prime locations. Warehouses need to be near producers to receive food, near major population centers for distribution, near ports for importing and exporting seasonal products and fresh produce, and at enough strategic locations along the way, near major highways and rail to seamlessly connect each warehouse node. In short, a network of temperature-controlled warehouses is essential infrastructure for keeping food flowing from farm to fork. More than just a giant freezer, each temperature-controlled warehouse is its own mini-ecosystem responsible for coordinating every move and every action to safely store food while working to reduce waste at every turn. As each pallet of food arrives by refrigerated trailer or rail car, we work to capture all the data needed to track products down to the case level. What is it? How much of it are we storing? At which temperature? For how long? And so on. With data capture complete, it's time for put away in a temperature controlled environment best suited for each product during its stay in the warehouse. Length of stay predictions can be calculated by algorithms and machine learning, which then assign the best address in the warehouse to store each pallet. At every step along the way, warehouse management systems, along with our backend tech stack, keep a close eye on product inventories, confirm put away locations, and coordinate team members' moves to work towards an accurate, efficient, and sustainable operation. The warehouse is divided into different temperature zones. Refrigerated areas accommodate freshly harvested food, like fruits and vegetables, as they move quickly from farm to store. Freezers can be fine-tuned to store everything from proteins to your favorite microwavable meals. And deep freeze rooms use extreme cold for products like ice cream. In the warehouse, many temperatures are under one roof. As orders are placed, it's the warehouse's job to fulfill them. Some orders come from food producers who need to move products closer to their destination markets from one warehouse to another. These orders are often truckloads of full pallets moving out. Other orders could be from grocery or retail chains doing their weekly restocking. These orders are usually picked to order by the case and are custom built by hand or by using automation. All temperature controlled orders leave our facilities as they arrived on refrigerated trailers or rail cars, which keep products at designated temperatures on their journey through the cold supply chain. Inside every temperature controlled warehouse is the food that will likely feed your friends and family anytime from next week to next year, which is why the next generation of warehouses are built to help ensure a sustainable future, deploying technologies that aim to reduce both energy consumption and food waste. People will always need to eat, and our mission in the cold supply chain is to always have enough variety and quantity on hand, and to keep it moving seamlessly to minimize shortages at the stores, restaurants, or places where you get your food. Bon Appetit!